Welcome to Engineering Concepts. Components of Pneumatic Systems There are five main components. They are 1. Air Compressor 2. Air Reservoir 3. Pneumatic Valves 4. Circuit 5. Pneumatic Actuators and air compressor. Air compressor is used to produce the compressed air for the system. It is a device that converts power into potential energy and stores as pressurized air. There are several methods for a compressor to convert power into potential energy. An air compressor forces more and more air into a storage tank, increasing the pressure of the storage tank to required pre-specified pressure. When the tank's pressure reaches its upper limit, the air compressor shuts off. The compressed air is held in the tank until called into use. The air pressure contained in the air storage tank can be used for a variety of applications, utilizing the kinetic energy of the air as it is released and the tank depressurizes. When tank pressure reaches its lower limit, the air compressor turns on again and repressurizes the tank. Two Reservoir Reservoir is used to store the compressed air. A reservoir is also known as air storage tank. It is used to store compressed air. Storage tank should be equipped with a safety valve, drain valve, air inlet, and air outlet valve, and also pressure gauge is mounted on it to provide a visual display of how much pressure is inside the storage tank. If the pressure in air tank exceeds its upper pressure limit then safety valve opens, and releases excess pressure into the atmosphere to avoid operational failures, thus adjusting and ensuring operational safety. We know that the atmosphere contains a small percentage of water vapor. After using compressor and storing air in tank for a while, the water vapor present in the atmosphere enters into the air storage tank and condenses at the bottom of the air storage tank, because of the pressure in the storage tank. This condensed water can be vented out with the help of a drain valve provided at the bottom of the air storage tank. The draining of condensed water should be done more frequent if the surrounding of working environment has more humidity. Three valves. Valves are used to control flow direction of the compressed air. It is a device that regulates, directs, or controls the flow of a fluid by opening, closing, or partially obstructing various passageways. Valves are technically fittings, but are usually discussed as a separate category. In an open valve, fluid flows in a direction from higher pressure to lower pressure. The valve is simply a freely hinged flap which drops to obstruct fluid, gas or liquid, flow in one direction, but is pushed open by flow in the opposite direction. This is called a check valve, as it prevents or checks the flow in one direction. Modern control valves may regulate pressure or flow downstream and operate on sophisticated automation systems. For a circuit. Circuit is used to move air between the other components, Pneumatic air pipes are used to connect one component to another. A pneumatic circuit is an interconnected set of components that convert compressed gas into mechanical work. In the normal sense of the term, the circuit must include a compressor or compressor fed air storage tank. The circuit consists of active components and passive components. Active components are 1. Compressor, 2. Air tank, 3. Pneumatic pipes, 
4. Valves. On the other hand passive components are 1. Pneumatic cylinders, and 2. FRL unit. 5. Pneumatic actuators. Pneumatic actuators enable considerable forces to be produced from relatively small pressure changes. A pneumatic actuator converts energy formed by vacuum or compressed air at high pressure into either linear or rotary motion. Pneumatic energy is desirable for main engine controls because it can quickly respond in starting and stopping as the power source does not need to be stored in reserve for operation. Moreover, pneumatic actuators are safer, cheaper, and often more reliable and powerful than other actuators. These forces are often used with valves to move diaphragms to affect the flow of air through the valve. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing.